So they're, they're just going to be putting in loads of sanctions and updates on Ukraine and Russia. No one wants World War Three, do we? Um, if they have to put boots on the ground, they will put boots on the ground. But they're trying to sort of do it diplomatically and in other ways. And the ways they're doing this is by putting sanctions um, against Russia um, and Russia nationals and businesses. So they're targeting things like banks, um, Putin's son-in-law, um, former son-in-law, who's a billionaire. They're basically going after the money, okay, crippling Russia's economy because if they can take down the economy um, they then can't basically afford to do anything they can't afford to carry on this war they can't afford to live the people of Russia are going to get upset as well because they're not going to be able to afford to live so there's major sanctions gone in from the US and the UK um, against banks businesses there's talks of how much Russian, Russian nationals can like hold within their bank accounts um, I think they're looking at taking down payment systems etc anything that's going to support um, the Russia and its military op operations against Ukraine so the goal is to take down the Russian economy the only thing is that is there are going to be sort of like other sacrifices that are going to be made um, Russia are a big gas and energy supplier so gas prices are already starting to go up um, I believe oil barrel prices are going up um, so we're going to see massive um, rise in inflation but hopefully it's going to cripple their economy. You may have also seen that the Russian people are also against this. It is illegal to protest in Russia. Um, they are not allowed. Um, it's an arrestable offence. But thousands have taken to the streets to protest against what is happening. Um, so they aren't even for this invasion, this attack, uh, whatever you want to call it. So this is what's going on at the minute. Massive sanctions um, been put in place. US have uh, troops in and around Russia and they're pushing another further 7,000 troops to Germany um, so they can deploy um, at a faster rate uh, if they need be. UK aren't putting troops on the ground, that's what they're saying as of yet. We will see. Putin obviously wants this to happen as quick as possible. He doesn't want to ride out a war over months or years. Um, he wants to get this done within a few days. Um, cripple, the, cripple the government and then sort of put Ukraine under Russian regime. He feels that they're a threat. So we need to see what these sanctions do. And um, this is just a quick update. That's what's going on. Uh, the sanctions been put in place. We'll see how that works. At the minute, I believe it is sort of working. I've heard that the Russian uh, market has dropped by around 45%. Uh, which is absolutely huge. So they're losing billions and billions of dollars. Um, so we will see what happens. But that's how we're attacking it in a minute, diplomatically and by sanctions without having to go to war and lose even more um, guys and girls um, through fighting. So there's a quick update. Um, want to hear more information, we'll go from there.